Here comes the hail. A cold, rainy, dreary day here today in Chicago. Well, that's not going to stop us from having a great day because today is Kasama Day. Today, the Longanesa breakfast sandwich from a Michelin star restaurant. This breakfast sandwich is my favorite sandwich in the city, and this dude right here has never had it. So I'm very crossing my fingers that he loves it. But today, Kasama pumpkin. You're your not going to tell him why? Today's this my is, birthday. Yeah, this is for Sean's birthday. He's picking his favorite spot. It is your birthday period. It's a statement of fact. Not even an exclamation point? This is more professional. It's not like she discovered a cure for cancer. Also, shout out to Hansel Infante. Hansel threw three bucks a month at us for Patreon, which is amazing. Hansel, thank you. You matter more than I do today because you're making this show possible, so thank you. So pumped for Corey to have Kasama breakfast. He's had the sandwich for lunch. Let's do the breakfast. Yeah, drive up right up in there. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I'm for Sean. You said have a good day. What a day. Easy pickup process. So pumped to have this two Kasama Long and Asa breakfast sandwiches acquired jump cut. Shrewds don't celebrate birthdays, idiot. I get a little audio of this nice steady rain. Yeah, I love it. It's so soothing. Very soothing. It's like rain on a tin roof, like how people go to yeah, sleep to that. So fantastic. Most of the time when people watch me online, they do fall asleep, but this uh, happen, today. Man. That'll happen. That's ASMR, dude. <laughs> All right, Sixers on the dashboard. Let's take it in for a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's open it up. Best breakfast sandwich in the land. Let's see, that's one of our missions this year. Yeah. Okay, look at this guy. Little hamburger bun. Cheese toasted up to perfection. That looks like American. We got some egg in there. That's the long anisa meat. And then a uh, hash brown up on there. It kind of just looks like a fancy McDonald's exactly. sandwich. It's like simple but fancy at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's just like it takes such a simple thing that we have nostalgia for and makes it insanely good. Woo! So we'll see, we'll see. Such a good smell too. Ooh. And then real quick on the big camera, we got it on the dash, we might as well use it. There's mine, this angle right here. The epic breakfast sando. All right, here we go, Kasama. Whew. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, that sauce is so flavorful. So crispy too. Mm-hmm. It is so simple, man. American cheese melted up. It's just fantastic. I love that they respect the fact that American does the job. You mm -hmm. don't have to go fancy cheese just because you're trying to be fancy. Yep. Use what works. This sandwich, because the egg is like shaped like that, it's so creamy. There's so much more to it. I was gonna bring up the egg. Mm -hmm. I love it. The thicker rectangle move. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they do it, but great. I know. And the hash brown is perfectly crisp. So crispy. It's so like, it's refreshing. And it's not super greasy. Mm -hmm. Like if I eat a couple of McDonald's breakfast sandwiches, I kind of feel it. This one for some reason, probably the high quality ingredients. You don't feel that grease factor. Mm, 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 mm. So simple. This is Filipino? Filipino. Filipino food is fantastic. Also, if you're a pastry person, I don't really get a lot of pastries, I don't mind them, but this place smacks in that department. That you should, They like rotate the menu constantly too. They're, it's just, if you're a pastry person, you gotta come here as well. I love a menu rotation. Mm-hmm. Keep it fresh, put some new stuff in there, you know? Mm-hmm. It does have like, I think it's a mix of the cheese and the egg, that creaminess you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Fantastic. Not that it needs it, but Sixer sauce on this thing is ridiculous. Mm. Adding a little bit of that. Do we, might be in the trunk, I can snag it. No, I think it's in the trunk, now I think about it, I totally forgot. It is worth the, uh, the trek out there in the rain. I think in the cooler, the idea of keeping it in a cooler, <laughs> it's yeah. so funny. It's so crazy that we just got a cooler back cooler there. Cooler back there grab. with like napkins and Ziploc bags yeah. and hot sauce. Here you oh, go. six or so, dude. Hell yeah. Great on breakfast, Sammy's. Yeah, that's the thing. Like it really doesn't need a sauce, but it just enhances it like crazy. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, so is it pretty good? You did, you did, did Fantastic. It? Okay, good. The first time I had this, I was like, oh, just like kind of a potato roll, huh? Mm -hmm. Like no fancy bread for being like a pastry place that makes all this crazy breads. It works. It's like soft yeah. and simple, doesn't get in the way. I like the bread. I like that it doesn't get in the way. Yeah, I'm going hefty. 
Mm, mm, mm. This meat looks weird, but tastes delicious. That bright red color. Yeah, it looks like it's got, like they just melt some crayon up in there. <laughs> That's the secret to this. <laughs> yeah, That's all the flavor is. You just take all the red crayons out of a box and melt them What's down. What's the cost on this? So that's literally why I only get it once in a while. Without the hash brown, it's already like 12 bucks. You add the hash oh. brown, it's 14. Okay, okay. In my head, I was thinking the only other competitor for this, mm -hmm. I was obsessed with the breakfast sandwich that we got at maybe called Eleven Diner. Remember in the South Loop? I got the breakfast sandwich, you got something else, that breakfast sandwich was unworldly. But I want to say that breakfast sandwich was like 20 bucks or something I remember ridiculous. that, yeah, it was like City 11 Grill or something. Yeah, I think that's right. Something I might like be that. off on the price, but my gut tells me it's way more expensive than that. You're right, I, I'm kind of remembering that too. Do you have the lid over there? Mm, I thought, I don't, maybe, I don't see it. Did you eat the lid? <laughs> I wouldn't put it past me. Am I sitting Just on it? Dumb and dumber over here. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. It's gotta be in plain sight, like I'm just not. It's like sunglasses up, oh, it's on the brim of my hat. I know, or my cell phone I'm looking for, I'm holding it. Mm -hmm. I'm using the flashlight to look for my cell phone. I don't worry about that later. Dude, the thing that pushes over the top for me is the crispiness. The texture, the crispiness, it's like, you don't get that a lot out of a breakfast sandwich like this. I think you have to do the hash brown. I know, it's you totally worth You're it. You're just a fool if it's you It's totally worth it. You can also get it on the side, why? No. Mmm. <laughs> oh, this is great. Wow. You can tell with this. The speed that I devoured that. Yeah. This is one that we've described and we've talked about it, but it's almost like indescribable. It's like one to me you have to eat. Because because it's so simple sounding, it's just like a must try. If you're in Chicago, pick up or delivery, but such a simple pickup process. They've got it mastered in there. Yeah, you were gone for like two, two seconds. Yeah. It's crazy. By feeling like you're, you're, this is a good start to your birth, even though we're filming this a week prior, it's a good, feel like a good start to your birthday. Best start to my month, birthday. Month, I guess. I don't know. It puts me in such a good place. Mm, 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 mm. This like starts my year in such a positive mentality. Like, yeah, this should be a January 1st meal. This yeah. should be like, all right, let's start the year out right. Absolutely. Stuff some longanese. Oh, you don't want to say stuff some longanese in my mouth. It just sounds weird. I will, whatever. <laughs> mm. I'm mad it's gone, but happy it happened. I could easily do two of those. If I was rich, yeah. if I had $30, <laughs> you know, rich people. This is a $500 plate dinner. Oh, 500. Oh, okay. All right, no problem. Here, put us down for uh put us down for 4 in case we want seconds. If I somehow could muster up 30 bucks. Almost. That's a tough one. I know. <laughs> I love that you were like, I can do it. <laughs> oh, right there. Right your feet. Oh, I knew it had to have fallen. Yeah. All right. I lose. We found it. Yay! Yay! Happy birthday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Quick do donation, you wanna do that? Yeah, tell them to donate to my birthday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Real quick, we wanna give a donation shout out to Mr. Eric Nelson for $20 donating to the show. We got a Venmo, we got a PayPal. When you donate to Number Six with Cheese, you always get a shout out. And Eric Nelson, this is your shout out on my birthday video, dude. I love you. That's a Thank lucky you. one. That's yeah. a good one. It worked out very well. Eric. Yeah, so uh, you guys, if you wanna donate, you can. If you don't want to, that's okay. Just keep watching the content. Yeah. We love you. We just love Eric. Just at least like and subscribe. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Final thoughts before we rate it. All right, let's take go. it away. I already, you already know what I think. Fantastic. It's definitely one of the, it's price per, I'd love to try it up against 11. We should do that soon. Yeah. That's really good too. You didn't get a chance to eat it because I, I want to share try with that you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're so honest. It's, it's so freaking good though. And I really think, I mean, look, it is a little bit crazy to spend $14 on a breakfast sandwich, but 14 bucks for a Michelin star restaurant breakfast sandwich kind of helps you swallow that pill. And the flavors are unbelievable. The texture is mix mixing with like the crispiness and the creaminess and the eggs and the cheese and the long anise sausage is so unique. It's just not really like a breakfast sandwich that you can really get anywhere else. That sausage brings something totally different to the game. It's unbelievable, simple, but perfect. I love that type of stuff. I could eat it every day. I yeah. have, it's just, it's something to me that I could seriously eat every day. My heart didn't stop beating. <laughs> oh, never mind. Out of five, we got the boards. Alex Trebek, bump that from heaven on my birthday week. We're gonna rate it out of five. All right, let's go. Kind of feels stupid for me to even rate it, but I'll do it anyway. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Alec, this is gonna be a quick one. He, like he's playing the music. He is. <laughs> I like you to imagine. Put the needle on and off the record. Yeah, then like, he went to heaven and he has to deal with us, our web series. Alec, they're calling for you again. God, these videos suck. All right, Corey, on the count of three, are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Hit it! Yeah, those are some fibers, dude. I tried to wipe the book over on Vegas. I have die on it. Damn, dude. Yeah. Um, Damn, Corey sucks. 
I was just hoping that it, you were gonna like it as much as like I do. Yeah, that's you unbelievable. Know? That's really what it was. Can I borrow that eraser? Yeah, yeah. I'm excited about trying more breakfast sandwiches on this channel. Me too, man. We gotta go to Loaf Lounge. Ooh, that's been on the list? That's the, like, I think that, apparently from what I'm seeing out of these lists, the number two breakfast Ooh. sandwich in the city. So we're gonna do Loaf Lounge soon. Unfortunate name. Yeah, right? Sounds like a fat person's place, which I kind of like for food, like just a loaf. Harold? Always hanging out at Loaf Lounge. Yeah. Freaking old, big old fat loaf. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that's the cassava breakfast sandwich. Um, excited to have done that for 2023 on my birthday video. Um, and also, thanks to Corey, he also brought up the idea that we were going to do a birthday video. I would have forgotten. It's fun. I, we're doing it, it for you guys. We thought you guys might like it. I'm excited to see where you pick for your birthday because your birthday's in like 10 days. Yeah, I've been trying to think and I still don't know. Okay, you got some time. Yeah. We were born 10 days apart and didn't know each other until we were like 26. Is that crazy? Or 30 or something. Is? Yeah, it's pretty. Well, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, guys, well, thank you so much. Don't forget to donate if you can to the show. We will see you tomorrow for a brand new episode on this show, a brewing review, and an awesome pizza video coming up tomorrow. So stick around for that. We'll see you very soon. Thanks for being here. Be good to each other. Goodbye. Peace. This hat is sick. Sick, dude.